In the last section, we built a sign-up page where users can enter their credentials. We added validators to the sign-up form to make sure the data was entered correctly, and if it was, we saved that data in the users table. What comes next in this section? There are three main things that, we, that need to happen. One, after a user signs up, a session should begin, and he should get redirected to his homepage. Two, registered users should have the ability to sign in again. Three, they should also be able to sign out. Let's begin with item one in this video. First, what is a session? When you sign into an app, the app needs some way of identifying page requests you make so it can serve you your information. It does this by setting a cookie in your browser containing an ID. So after you sign up for an app, the app sets a cookie in your browser containing an ID. Then on each subsequent page request you make, the ID in that cookie is passed to the app. The app looks up whether the ID maps to valid user credentials. If it does, then the app understands that you're a signed-in user and returns a response with the irrelevant information. This combination of having an ID stored in your browser that maps to valid user credentials on the server is called a session. Flask has a session object that makes this functionality easy to implement. It stores an ID and a secure cookie on the user's browser. Let's add it to the signup function next. In rust.py, import session redirect and URL4 from Flask. We'll use this in the signup function below. So in the signup function, add this line. What this line does is after a new user signs up for the app, it creates a new session. So once a new session is created, the user should get redirected to the home page. To do this, we'll use URL4 along with Flask's redirect function. So replace the placeholder string inside sign up with the redirect to the home page. Now we don't have a URL mapping for home yet, so let's create one in routes.py. This is similar to the URL mappings we've created before. We need a template named home.html, so create it in templates. This is also similar to how we've created templates before. Open up home.html and inherit from layout.html. I'll change the syntax highlighting to Python again so it's a little bit easier to read. And then fill out the content block with markup for the home page. So add the main element, a div element, and finally a heading that says home. Let's try all this out. Launch the Flask app, go to localhost 5000, and try out the signup flow. So type in your first name, last name, email, password, click sign up, and you should get redirected to the home page. You can also go to Postgres and check that this record was actually saved in the database. So far, we're able to sign up for the app, and when we do, we are redirected to the home page. In the next video, let's move on to the second item and create a sign-in page.